Well, like you said, the route's in place and there's a good chance a lot of those cyclists, they've been out practicing, which is probably why you've been seeing them on the road uh, for the past few days, maybe even past few weeks. Now, something to really keep in mind is that both drivers and cyclists, when they're on the road, they have to learn to coexist and they have to follow the same rules. One of the biggest ones is they have to, if they're in a bike lane, which they should be if there is one, uh, if not, then they have to stay to the three furthest feet of the road. Now, El Tor, it is a bit different in the sense that there is traffic control set up. Some of the roads are shut down. That's the case where these bicyclists have full access to those streets. Now, they also have to follow other rules when they're on the road. They have to go in the same direction as traffic. They have to follow speed limits. They also have to follow those traffic signals just like cars and, of course, where they have to ride. So when a bicyclist is riding on the streets or the roads and such like this, if there is a designated bike lane, we do need to be in there because that is considered our space. Again, the only time that doesn't apply is when there isn't a bike lane. In that case, there are a few feet that you have to allow for bicyclists to be on the road and share that road with them. As for tomorrow's El Tour, there is going to be some traffic control set up out along the route. Of course, if you are out on the road during the event, make sure you're watching out for those who are on bikes. Reporting live from the east side, Veronica Costa, Kega 9 on your side. Veronica, thank you. Two minutes past the hour, continuing coverage.